This is a documentary about Sophie Germain. Back in the 18th century, Sophie Germain was the second daughter of a wealthy family. She was a loner, and she died alone. She was only 55. She had no career other than studying math. When Sophie was little, she began her lifetime of self-teaching. She read Newton and Archimedes. away all sources of heat and light at night so she could quit running her math like a freak. But then she hid her candles in her bedroom and used it to do some nerdy stuff and for her nerdy ambitions. When her parents found the melted candles and used quills to finally cut her some slack and let her be her freaking nerd. They even let her go to that polytechnic school to listen to old guys talk about math and science stuff. Even though the school was like they didn't go that girl and they were just like racist like that, you know? While Sophie was embroiled in her studies, France was dealing with this. Open the door! While Sophie was still studying calculus, the country fell under Napoleon's rule. Uh huh! World domination! This had nothing to do with her life. Her greatest mathematical achievement can be summed up by this political campaign. The opposing party would have you believe that x to the n plus y to the n equals z to the n can have a solution divisible by n for an infinite domain. What a retard. Sophie has proven that this is only true for numbers less than a hundred. I am Sophie German and I approve of this message. She also looked at Chaldney's patterns and led to a correct equation for elasticity of vibrating surfaces which stimulated the works of Poisson, Navier, and Cauchy on general principles of elasticity. She then published works that helped discover the laws of equilibrium, which contains a practical kind of math. After she finished her final conclusion of Fermat's last theorem, Beethoven's fifth. <laughs>